friends. Today we are going to read about Frida Kahlo and this book called Frida. Now, she does have a unibrow, and this might look a little silly, but remember we don't laugh at people and their appearance, all right? Now, there might be some words that I can't properly pronounce. Uh, she did live in Mexico, and she used a lot of different Spanish words. For little Frida, the world is Mexico. Her house is a blue house, and it is in the town of Coyanca. I believe that's a close uh, town to Mexico City. Frida's father is an artist and a photographer. He teaches her how to use a paintbrush. Frida's mother takes care of six daughters. She is often tired. Often, Frida is lonely, even though she has sisters. Do you ever feel that way at home? Enter stage left, Frida's imaginary friend. Her name is Frida. So her, her imaginary friend is actually herself. Very cool. All of a sudden, Frida falls very ill. She is in bed for months. There's something wrong with one of her legs. Even her imaginary friends can't cheer her up. That's when Frida teaches herself how to draw. Drawing saves her from being sad. After Frida gets well, she still wants to paint, make art, so she paints little paintings. They are copies of other paintings. Paintings onto photographs is what Frida's father does for a living. He teaches her how to do this too. Frida also paints things she sees through a microscope. She loves looking at things very closely. At school, Frida studies science. She is bored. School is too easy. One day, Frida is riding the bus from home from school. A horrible accident happens. A trolley runs into the bus, and Frida almost dies. In the hospital, it is painting that saves her once again. Painting is like her imaginary friend. It is there whenever she wants. It keeps her company, and it keeps her from giving up hope. After the accident, life will never be the same for Frida. She will walk with a cane when she is able to walk, and her body will hurt always. But Frida doesn't cry or complain. Instead of crying, she paints pictures of herself crying. When she can't leave her bed, she paints in bed. When her whole torso is put into a cast, she paints on the cast. Nothing can stop Frida from painting because she is so often alone, unable to leave her house, she has to use her imagination. She paints what she sees in her heart. On top of that, she paints what she, she sees with her eyes. It's almost like painting on a photograph. She paints little magical scenes with words at the bottom. All over Mexico, people paint these kinds of scenes. Sometimes they are scenes of accidents with angels coming to the rescue. They are always like prayers of poor people who are sick. They are often called um, extatos. Uh, Frida paints extatos of herself when she is sick or in pain. Frida imitates no one in her style. Her paintings are like nothing else. In museums, people still look at them and weep and sigh and smile. She turns her pain into something beautiful. It's like a miracle. Oh, one last page. Ooh. Viva la Frida, which means long live Frida. And Frida Kahlo was born on July 6, 1907 in Mexico. And let's see, at the age of seven, she was sickened with polio uh, that confined her to a, a bed for nine months. And polio is a disease that we have vaccines for, so not a lot of people have it anymore. And she was struck in, in the right leg with a limp. At the age of 18, she was in a bus accident um, that was just horrible to describe. And she survived all that and was able to produce a lot of different art, which is super cool. Uh, so that is our story. 
we learned a lot about Frida, the fact that she had a lot of different things happen to her, but she was able to stick through it all, right? So I hope that you guys are doing well, and I hope I get to see you all soon. Bye, friends.